guys welcome back okay so today i'm doing a haul you know a little haul i do not have all of my items that i've purchased from the black friday sales they haven't all come in yet but i need to go ahead and do a partial haul so that i can start using some of this stuff and enjoying it um yeah while i wait on the rest of my stuff so I'm doing a partial haul today. It's still a decent amount of stuff. Unfortunately, your girl went a little ham as usual. If you guys are a regular <laughs> or, you know, if you one of my ride or dies, you know how I do. Okay, so if you see anything in this haul that I previously stated that I was trying not to buy, just refer to my previous video where I had the disclaimer in the beginning that some stuff might still get purchased, <laughs> okay? So y'all know how I get down. I try, I try, I say no to some stuff and some other stuff I say, come to mama, okay? So anyways, yeah, about to go through this stuff. I'm gonna run through it really quickly because it's a lot and I wanna just kind of show it to you guys, let you guys know what I got, what's out there, if it's still on sale, maybe you are interested and might wanna pick it up. So let's jump right in. So this first group of items I actually just came across, of course, on Instagram. I saw like this little sale advertisement or whatever from Lashy Box. I don't even, you know, I'm not subscribed to Lashy Box, never bought anything from them, but they had these cute little bundles. And the one that caught my eye was like a Ruby May bundle. It's called the Ruby May Purple Puffs Bundle. And one of the palettes in the bundle, the whole bundle cost less than that palette did when I wanted to buy it. So I was like, let me check out this bundle. So yeah, they still have them on sale. Different ones if you want to check them out from Lashy Box. Okay. Now in the bundle that I got, it came with a Glam Queen Mascara from Ruby May. So it's nicely sealed. I'm not going to open it up or anything like that. But it came with a mascara, a felt tip liner, I also got this Ruby May Glossy AF <laughs> Lip Gloss in the shade Los Angeles, which this is really pretty, okay? And it came with these um, interesting lashes. <laughs> I didn't realize that they were like blue and pink. I think they're called like blueberry or something. So initially I was like, blue lashes? Mm. But then I remembered that I already have a pair of colored lashes that I think are really cute. So I'm actually going to have some fun playing with those. Now the two palettes that I got in the bundle that I picked, and the bundle that I got was $19.99, okay? This first palette is the indica palette by flaunt beauty had never heard of them but when i saw the palette i was like oh that's cute so this is what the palette looks like very very pretty bright vibrant colors in there and then the other palette in the bundle was the purple kush palette so i know a lot of you guys might be familiar with this palette because it was on sale and all over ig forever and I always wanted to grab it, but I never did. I just never did. I was like, no, nah, I ain't paying no $30 or whatever it was for this palette. And now I got it in my bundle for less than 20 bucks and came with a bunch of other stuff. So this is what this palette looks like. Very, very pretty. And I'm happy that I grabbed it. Okay, so I also picked up a few things from Beauty Bay. Beauty Bay sales were off the chain, okay? I was like, uh hello they had some serious sales going on so i just picked up a few little things here and there that i wanted to grab i picked up a couple more of their blushes because i really really like the one that i already got so i wanted to try out a couple more shades i saw somebody else using some darker ones this one is in the shade merlot so this is merlot gorgeous gorgeous shade if you like these darker tone blushes this is really pretty this next one is in the shade royal so it's not quite as dark really really pretty kind of like rustic rosy type shade very very gorgeous can't wait to try this out i picked up a revolution highlighter i like the way these look in the packaging really pretty this one is called time to shine and so this is what this one looks like. Super, super pretty. It almost looks like a bronzer for a more fair tone um, person, but it is a highlighter. So let's check it out. 
And Revolution has some of like the prettiest highlighters. And they're, you know, pretty affordable. So yeah, that's gorgeous. I, I, I'm really going to like that on my face. <laughs> yeah, that is really pretty. I'm really, really going to like that. And what's a Beauty Bay haul without a couple of palettes? So I did pick up a couple of Revolution palettes. I just love the tin packaging. So I wanted to add a couple of more of these that I had my eye on to my Revolution collection. This one is one of the Forever Flawless. This one is called Utopia. So these are the shades in the Utopia palette. Really, really pretty. Not anything that I don't already have, but I just thought it was gorgeous. It's something about seeing those blues and purples together that get me every time. I also picked up this one here, which is Allure. So that's what that packaging looks like. And these are the shades in here. I know, very basic, very muted tones, but it just kind of looked really romantic to me. And the shimmers in here looked really, really pretty. So just curious about how this is going to fare, you know, with my skin tone, because it does have some really pretty burgundies and the shimmers in here look really, really nice. So I will be trying this out. Also from Beauty Bay, I picked up a Sample Beauty palette. This is the Equalizer 2. I went back and forth on this palette, but I saw Makeup by Tammy, Tammy Clark, using this palette and she was like, oh my gosh, she made this palette look like I had to have it, okay? So there's nothing monumental about the color story in this palette, but it's just really, really nice. I think it's really pretty. These colors you know, tend to go very, very well together when creating an eye look. The purples, the kind of like slimy green shades, you know, you have your deepening shades as well. Beautiful shimmers, but yeah, the looks that she created with this palette actually made me buy it because they were so gorgeous. So I can't wait to play with this. Now, you guys, ColourPop was just getting on my last nerve with all these sales, okay? Because I went on their website to buy one palette, okay? One palette, and I just lost my freaking mind because everything was on sale, you know? So the one palette that I went on there to buy. <laughs> of course, was the Mandalorian. This is one that I was trying to talk myself out of, but it was kind of like, you know, it has sentimental value. It's a show that me and my husband watch together faithfully every week. Really, really good show. If you're not checking it out, it's really good on Disney, Disney Plus, I think. But yeah, he's so cute. And I actually really like <laughs> the shades in this palette. It's like those different kind of green tones in here kind of unique, kind of different. So even though I tried to talk myself out of it, I ended up going ahead and giving myself a pass because like I said, it does have some sentimental value and you know, it's cheap, it's ColourPop. <sighs> but like I said, I basically just lost my mind. I saw they had these new kind of like pastel type palettes on their website. I don't know if you guys, I'm sure you've seen these if you've been on their website or whatever. But yeah, they have these new different kind of pastel type palettes and I wanted to try them out. One of the reasons why I like buying the nine pan palettes from ColourPop is because of the fact that they are magnetic. So even if I don't necessarily like the color scheme that's in this particular palette, I can kind of move them around, play around with them, create my own color stories. So that's pretty cool. This one is on cloud nine. So gorgeous blue shades in here. I mean, look at this. It is so, so pretty. I can definitely pair this one with the Blue Moon palette and have a nice, beautiful blue color story. This one is Aura and Out. So it's kind of like a minty, minty green type color story. And that's what that one looks like. Very, very pretty. I can definitely pair this one with my Just My Look eyeshadow palette. This one is called In a Trance. So this one has some really, really gorgeous like pink and lilac type shades, a little bit of blue in there. So I can mix and match and combine this with all kinds of different colors to create different palettes. So I grabbed that one. This one is called Miss Bliss. So it kind of has like a peachy tone to it. This one, you know, peachy, pinky type shades. Very pretty as well. 
this one, you know, pretty fair. So I would definitely be mixing and matching this with um, maybe my orange palette or my watermelon palette. You know, it can kind of go a few different ways. Now this here was this cute little combo pack that they came out with called Into Bloom. And so there's two palettes in here. This one is Big Poppy and this one is Little Ray of Sunshine. Very, very cute. I'm probably just going to end up taking them out of this like unnecessary extra packaging, even though it's really cute. It's kind of tedious constantly having to take those out when you want to use them. So this one is Big Poppy and it has kind of like a warm, orangey, earthy, you know, color story. Really, really pretty. This one is called Little Ray of Sunshine. So, of course, it has like the kind of yellow, mustardy kind of feel to it. I can kind of play around with this along with my Uh Huh Honey palette. So, you know, mixing it with all kind of stuff, actually, since it is kind of like yellow and mustardy toned. I also picked up these two palettes, which is the Menage Moi <laughs> and the Boudoir Noir palettes. I really like these. Now, online, it, it's kind of funny because this boudoir noir, when I saw it, I was like, I couldn't really see the green in it when I first looked at it, you know, online. And then I saw the swatches and it was like, yeah, there's green in there. And then having it in person, I can see the green tone to it. I think kind of like the shiny background kind of throws me off a little bit. But yeah, you can definitely see you know, the green tone in this palette. And I think it's so beautiful. It is really, really pretty. So yeah, I definitely cannot wait to play around with this one because of the green in here. And the Menage a Moi. <laughs> this one is gorgeous as well. Actually, it has, you know, the mauve tones to it. Really, really pretty. This reminds me of what is it, that butterfly one? Yeah, I want to kind of compare it to the Flutter by and see how similar they are. So I'll put the Flutter by on top and the Menage a Moi on the bottom. So this is what they look like compared, kind of like side by side. And yeah, they're definitely looking similar. I think would probably be excellent companion palettes, but yeah, you can kind of look at them and see if you have the butterfly one already, you know, you might not want to grab the Menage a Moi, but yeah, I think they would be really nice companion palettes. Now I also grabbed, of course, the Fade Into Hue. Oh, I had to grab this. I mean, it's kind of annoying because, you know, ColourPop finally came out with a colorful palette <laughs> okay they should have been at this palette um you know prior to dropping all of those little mini color palettes because if you have all their mini palettes you really don't need this but of course it's nice for me to have them all in one spot and y'all knew i was gonna get this okay my name is colorful camille hello <laughs> so yeah very very pretty and uh, I'm going to dive into this really, really soon because it's time for like a rainbow look. I haven't done a rainbow look in a while. Now, when I picked up that um, rainbow palette from ColourPop, it came in like a little combo pack with a new, you know, grouping of liners. I don't know if these liners are new. It's probably some shades that they already had, but I didn't have all of these. So I went ahead and grabbed the little combo thing that they had with the liners in the palette and really happy I did. You guys know I love playing with colored liners and I like the ColourPop ones. I think some of them are kind of hit and miss. My favorite ones are the LA Girl, the Shockwave Neon ones from LA Girl. Man, they never miss. I love those liners. They're so vibrant and pretty, but ColourPop is not bad. Just sometimes they're hit or miss. And lastly, from ColourPop, I did grab a Super Shock Cheek. I tend to kind of shy away from the Super Shock Cheeks because, I don't know, it's just they're just kind of like a weird consistency for me to use as a blush. But when I saw this color, I had to try it. It's called Drop of a Hat. And it kind of has like that peachy tone to it, but kind of like a deeper, I don't know. It's just pretty. <laughs> 
So these are the kind of shades that I really like when it comes to blush. So I wanted to try this out. I actually forgot one of the additional items that I bought from Beauty Bay. This is another Revolution palette. This is called the Crystal Eye Quad. And if you guys watched any of my previous um hauls you know that i kind of like started collecting these because they're so pretty the packaging is just crazy look at that so gorgeous this one is called pink topaz so let me open it up for you it is so pretty so that is what that one looks like pink topaz very very gorgeous now i actually have one of these on my eyes right now Right now I have on the Wild Onyx. <laughs> so this is what I used for my eye look today and I absolutely love it. So this is the one that I have on my eyes right now. The Wild Onyx and it's so, so pretty. I love it. These shadows are so pigmented, so easy to work with. And these palettes are really, really cool because it's like you have four shades. So it's not really much you can stress over when creating your eye look. <laughs> like you got four shades to work with there you go so very simple very easy but yeah i'm collecting these pretty much for the packaging i have uh four more i think now before i get into some indie brand stuff i did pick up a few palettes from bh cosmetics i haven't ordered directly from bh cosmetics in quite a while when i got the ice cream palettes i bought those from ulta so it's been a while since i ordered from bh because they take a long time to ship to me for some reason. But when they had their sale, I was like, okay, there's a few palettes I've had my eye on that I wanted to put in my collection because I really, really like the formula for these style of palettes from BH. Now, this one's their travel series. This one is Love in London. So I did go ahead and grab this one. This is the color story for Love in London. There's a lot of really, really light shades, but I like this, you know, dark area over here. And like I said, there's some sh some palettes that I just wanted to add to my collection, and this is one of them. The next one is Summer in St. Tropez. And so this is what the palette looks like. And I'm sure it's obvious why I like this palette. Those bright reds and blues in there, that yellow, very, very pretty. So I added this to my collection. And lastly, I picked up this Mimosa palette. I actually wanted this palette when it first came out with the um, Avocado Toast. But I was like, oh, I got peachy shades. I don't need it. No. But I saw so many gorgeous looks created with this. And then when I saw the formula of these palettes and just was like, I'm going to go ahead and get it. Okay. So this is what the Mimosa palette looks like super pretty and it has you know peachy tones as well as like pink tones and like i said the looks have just been gorgeous so i can't wait to play with this okay now these i grabbed from a company called lorena makeup i had never heard of them saw them on instagram and i saw that they were swatching their pigments and you guys i have really come to love playing around with pigments sometimes I come in here and I'll just kind of swatch them put some on my eyes just kind of to get a feel for them because pigments can be a bit intimidating it can be kind of hard to figure out how to use them without picking up too much and blending them and all that good stuff so I have been kind of like building up my pigment collection which I do plan on doing like a little pigment swatch party pretty soon um, I have some more pigments coming from some more indie brands as well. But these are the colors that I picked up from Lorena Beauty. And I know it's kind of hard to see in the plastic, but I don't want to open them up and all that stuff because it'll get messy. And like I said, I want to do a swatch party. But there are a few like duochrome type um, pigments in here. I don't know if you can see this one down here shifting you see that like orangey color gold so yeah there are some dual chrome pigments in here that i am dying to swatch but i did pick those up i also saw these cute little like <laughs> rose shaped blushes from winky lux they were so so pretty i was like oh my gosh you know they're so gorgeous but these were like 20 bucks i think a pop if i'm remembering correctly 
And when I got these in the mail, I was like, they look about half the size in person <laughs> as they do uh, compared to how they do online. They're a lot smaller in person than I thought they were. And I mean, I get it. They're really pretty, really cute. So it's like, okay, 20 bucks for a rose-shaped blush. Um, you know, but I did. I thought they were bigger. But this is what it looks like. So these are just absolutely adorable. I do not regret buying them because I believe I did get like a 10 or 15% discount. This one is the shade Crown. And this one is the shade Brilliant. So this one has a little bit more of that orangey, corally type feel to it. So yeah, this one is called Brilliant. Absolutely gorgeous. But you can kind of see in the palm of my hand just how big it is. I wish I had something else I could compare it to that you guys would be kind of familiar with. Okay, so I just grabbed a ColourPop Super Shock Shadow. If you know, you know, about the size of the Super Shock Shadow, this is <laughs> the size of the blush compared to the Super Shock Shadow. So you can basically see, you know, what I mean by it. it's it's a little bit smaller than I thought it was, you know, but it's still really cute. Next, I picked up a couple of really, really pretty, um, I think these are duochrome liners from JD Glow. So I got the green one and the blue one. Oh my gosh, they are so, so pretty. I don't even know if I've swatched these yet. The green one is called Kelly. So that's Kelly. And the blue one is Tranquil. So that's what Tranquil looks like so so pretty let me see if i can swatch these right quick i don't know if they're duochrome or if they're just really pretty <laughs> really pretty colors oh no my green one looks like it might be dry oh my green one is dried out oh i'm glad i swatched it because now i need to contact them and let them know yeah oh no it's dried out oh well the blue one is gorgeous <laughs> But the green one, not so much. So, yeah, it looks like I got an older green one. It looks like it's good in the tube, but it's all dried out. So I will definitely be sending them an email about this green one. Okay, so next, I picked up a couple of items from Nomad. I do love Nomad, okay? I'm part of their little Nomad family, so they do send me some things occasionally. But I also purchase from them. <laughs> so... These are two items that I purchased from them during their sale. They had an amazing sale as well. I don't know if it'll still be on, but yeah, this is, what is this? The Studio 54, but what is it called? It's their um, multi-chrome disco shadow palette. <laughs> yeah, oh my gosh, look how pretty this thing is, okay? disco shadow palette so this is a quad of absolutely gorgeous like shimmery multi-chrome shadows so so pretty so went ahead and grabbed that while it was on sale okay and i also picked up their tuscany palette it says it is an intense eyeshadow palette tuscany so yeah i thought this was really pretty this one is one of their more neutral tone palettes but i thought it was gorgeous i love nomad i love supporting nomad so yeah i went ahead and picked this up so i can do a nice pretty neutral look with it very very pretty okay so next i have clarity cosmetics i did purchase quite a few things from clarity along with some singles that i wanted to pick up now what i will say about my clarity singles the shimmers amazing i love them i mean they are just the bomb the mattes super pigmented i love the matte shades but every single time i order mattes from clarity i end up losing like two or three of them they just break up they crumble it's just really frustrating and it's colors that i really really love <laughs> break so i had two of them break on me from this recent order which is just frustrating but i do have a message out to them to see if i can get replacements or whatever but that's the only thing is whenever i order matte singles from clarity they end up breaking or at least um a few of them do so yeah just a heads up on that some of them are pretty soft 
Okay, so for the palettes that I got from Clarity, I picked up this Chocolate Seduction palette. <laughs> now, I had no idea the names for the shadows in this palette when I grabbed it, okay? So, you know, if you happen to catch a glimpse of the names, don't, <laughs> don't blame me, okay? I just bought a chocolate palette and I had no idea about the names. They're quite risque, you know, kind of out there. So if I do use this in a tutorial, I would just be pointing. I will not be saying these names, okay? So yeah, I was reading through the names and I was like, tie me up, what? <laughs> so yeah, but it's a very pretty palette. I also grabbed the Juicy Peach Pressed Pigment Palette. Very pretty. That's what it looks like. And these are the colors in here. Definitely can do a beautiful peachy look with this. I mean, just these three right here. Pop that yellow in there. Nice little shimmer in the corner. Very, very pretty. They had a really good sale as well. I always know when a brand has a really good sale because that's when I kind of stock up. This one is the Blue Royal very very pretty i've had my eye on this one for a while i kind of went back and forth on it because of the fact that i saw amy use this palette amy loves makeup and she kind of you know was talking about how some of the shades in here are very very similar and so for a six pan palette it's kind of like you know kind of sucks to have shades that look exactly the same when you put them on your eye which I believe it was these two she was really talking about but I can kind of see her point because the blues do kind of look similar but I went ahead and took a chance and you know of course I like uh, supporting black owned indie brands as well so went ahead tried it out and I can't wait to do a look with it. And lastly, for palettes, I picked up the Berry Royal. I didn't know anything about this palette, but it just really reminded me so much of the Give Me Glow Vivid Rose. When I took a glance at it, I was like, okay, same kind of feel, same kind of color story. Um, this is a pressed pigment palette as well. Very vibrant, <laughs> very bright and beautiful. So I'm thinking of maybe just doing like a quick little swatch comparison of the two palettes maybe on Instagram or something because they are similar, but I know that they are different as well. But this is really, really pretty. I really like the shades in here. Very, very nice. I don't think this was on sale though. I think I might've paid full price for this. And so these are just um, some of my Clarity shadows. They do have the larger single shadow pans. If you do like those and you're into that type of size pan, they do have the larger ones from Clarity. I didn't purchase all of these during this haul. I already had quite a few, but I did purchase a nice amount to add to my collection. As you can see, I did add some mattes to my shimmers, but yeah, some of my mattes actually broke and fell apart, so that kind of sucks, but Clarity, their shimmers, oh my gosh amazing and lastly they did send me um a free lipstick and lip liner duo with my order which i thought was really really sweet they sent me the shade moody which i can be on occasion <laughs> but this is what it looks like i thought it was really really pretty so it's double ended and it does have the lipstick on one end and it does have a liner on the other end so very cute little dual ended situation. I've never had anything like that before. So speaking of Gimme Glow, I did go ahead and order two of the palettes that I tried to talk myself out of. But in my defense, in my video, I actually specifically said I was probably going to buy this. <laughs> so, well, at least one of them, not both of them, but one of them. Of course, the Vivid Rose. Um... Yeah, I went ahead and picked this up. I, I knew when I was looking at it, I was like, I'm going to buy that, okay? It's so pretty. Oh, my goodness. Look at this palette. <laughs> like, who can resist these colors? And when you know Give Me Glow's formula, how they sh their shadows perform, it's like it. you just, come on now, okay? So, yeah, I did pick this up. It's gorgeous. It's beautiful. And 
I don't know. Usually when I buy my Give Me Glow palettes, I take the shadows out of the palette and incorporate it in with my singles so I can kind of mix and mingle them and play around with them. But that palette is so pretty, I might not even mix and mingle. I might just leave it in the palette. So I went ahead and pick up, picked up the Sweet and Sticky as well since I was on the website, okay? So this is what the Sweet and Sticky looks like. A sticky yiggy yiggy. <laughs> that is what she looks like. So gorgeous. Yeah. Now another indie brand that I did try out is Bitter Lace Beauty. I did do an unboxing video for the six pans that I purchased from them. I think some of them are highlighters. Some of them are shadows, but they're all gorgeous. I did swatch them. If you're curious, check out that video, my Bitter Lace Beauty unboxing these shadows smell amazing. And it's so funny. I smell it really, really strongly right now. When I did the unboxing, it must have just went over my head. Or maybe I had a candle burning or something. Because I was like, I didn't smell anything. But now, I smell it a lot. And they smell really nice. I don't know what it smells like. Like a nice soap or something. A really nice, clean soap. They smell good. <laughs> so that's Bitter Lace Beauty. And I just have them in this like magnetic pa magnetic palette that I got from Sephora, I think a long time. No, I got this from Makeup Revolution a long time ago. They were having a sale on these, so I grabbed a couple. Now, another indie brand that I've been dying to try, Glaminatrix. Um, I saw Annette's Makeup Corner swatch their shimmers. And I about died. Okay, so I went to the website, ordered the bundle deal of the shimmers. And that was back in September. That's how long it has taken for me to get my bundle of shimmers from Glaminatrix. Okay, they came last week. Yeah, so it took a while. And I'm hoping that it's worth it because <laughs> they're gorgeous. If you've seen any swatch videos for Glaminatrix, you know they're absolutely gorgeous. So I went ahead, you know, unpackaged them all, put them in my own little magnetic palette, of course. This is one of the clear ones from Coastal Scents. I really, really like these because for one, I like to see my shadows. It kind of makes me use them more, quite honestly. When I just look and I see the colors, it just makes me want to grab it and use it. So I really like these. And these are on sale at Coastal Scents right now. Very, very reasonably priced. I think the large ones are like five bucks and the smaller ones that hold like 12 or 16 shadows are like 250. So if you need some clear topped empty magnetic palettes check out coastal scents because they're on sale right now when i'm filming this video but these are all of my glaminatrix singles ah. <laughs> they're so beautiful to me honey they are so gorgeous and i cannot wait to do a swatch party with you guys because i'm definitely doing a swatch party with these and you know swatching them all so picked up those or should I say I finally got these because I actually ordered them months ago. Now, this palette I actually bought. I saw my daughter with it, <laughs> okay? My daughter bought this palette. This is the Lorac Pro, the Artistry Book. And so, you know, of course, it's gorgeous. It's colorful. It's huge. And, you know, I've kind of like shied away from ordering from them because I've seen like mixed reviews on their palettes but she used hers and the looks that she did were pretty vibrant pretty colorful and so I was like okay you know what let me go ahead and check it out because it was on sale it went on sale and then it went on additional sale so it was like sale and then another 15% off on top of the 30% off or something so I just couldn't pass it up because it was like half price or something like that or less than half price so i went ahead grabbed it it came fairly quickly and it's really really pretty it looks gorgeous in person so yeah i can't wait to play with this try it out and see if i like it okay so i did pick up a few things from sephora of course um honestly i don't think i got any of this stuff on sale <laughs> 
No, I take that back. I did get some stuff on sale. I just didn't get this on sale. I picked up the Gucci bronzer. <laughs> okay. I got the shade deep, of course. What is it? Zero five. Yeah, it's just, it's so pretty, you guys. I couldn't resist. 90, 95% of why I got it was the packaging because it's so gorgeous. It's just pretty. It's just one of those things that I just decided to treat myself to. And so I went ahead and picked it up. Everything about it is just, it's just gorgeous to me. So got the Gucci bronzer. I also picked up this Jouer Soft Focus Hydrate and Set Powder. Now, when I saw this on the shelf, I actually thought it was a bronzer because it was so deep and so rich. I think this is the darkest one. Yeah, it's the shade Deep. Um, But yeah, packaging really, really pretty. But I thought it was a bronzer. <laughs> And so when I saw it, I was like, oh, that's really pretty. That's gorgeous, you know. And then I saw that it was a face powder and I was like, okay, I'm going to get it, try it out as like a bronzer or contour, see if I like it. Because when I swatched it, it was just like ugh, so smooth, so nice. So yeah. I think that will be a really nice looking bronzer on me. I don't know. I just do. So I actually picked this up, even though it's a face powder, to use as a bronzer. Okay. We don't always have to use makeup for its designated purpose. Okay. <laughs> now they've had this Kat Von D or KVD Beauty <laughs> uh, foundation on sale for the longest time. This one is the True Portrait liquid to powder foundation so i went ahead and grabbed one i've heard people raving about this stuff and i want to try it okay so this one is tan 076 that's what it looks like and i feel like i got a decent a decent shade it might be a little bit rich but it's all good so yeah i definitely want to try this out i hear people raving about this all the time so i'm gonna see if i like it and i just said i wasn't gonna buy no more foundations either because i have too many but <laughs> i got one more i also picked up a couple of mark jacobs blushes they were on sale as well this one is way lighter in person than i thought it was but you know it might look nice. It's just like a brightening effect on my cheek. We'll have to see. This one is absolutely gorgeous. This one is called Tantalizing. Beautiful deep plum shade. And this one is called Obsessed. So the lighter one, lighter peachy one, is called Obsessed. So yeah, got these two. Absolutely gorgeous. They were on sale on Sephora. Now this palette here, when I saw this go on sale, I was like, yes <laughs> because when it first came out i was like i've been dying to try this brand but i didn't want to pay full price and i knew it was going to go on sale so i didn't buy it so the fact that it went on sale i was ecstatic this is from nars and it's called the extreme effects palette so excited because i don't have any nars palettes i don't have any nars shadows i've been wanting to try them for years so Finally got a palette that I think is deep enough <laughs> for me to play with and I got it on sale so that is what it looks like can't wait to play with it and lastly from Sephora this <laughs> I picked this up in store this is from Too Faced one of their like diamond highlighters this one is a uh, canary diamond and I hadn't seen this one before and when I saw this I don't know what it was, if it was the lights in the store, the ambiance, the feel, me being out of the house, <laughs> I don't know what it was, but when I saw this highlighter, I was like, that's gorgeous and I have to have it. It has kind of like pink and gold and green, it's just all kind of colors in there and it's so pretty to me, so yeah, I bought this. We'll see how it looks on my face, okay? And lastly, you guys, I wanted to share with you some of the candles that I purchased from Jackie Ina's Forever Mood, you know, company. And these candles are 
ridiculously expensive, okay? But what I will say about the presentation for these candles, the shipping, all of that stuff, it is A1. It really is. It makes you feel like, okay, this is what I spent my money for. The packaging is just, it's bomb. It's very heavy duty, very nice box you can use for something else. But let me show you these. Um, <laughs> this was kind of like, I guess, the you know like date night or romantic type set or whatever I actually you see one missing that's the one I have burning in the back I don't know if you can see it's right there but it's burning in the back that one is called grown folks business smells amazing okay one of these in here smells like straight up delicious coffee I don't know which one it is <laughs> but it smells like coffee and it smells really good but these candles very expensive but i decided to go ahead and treat myself because i love candles and you know i've started burning them a little less i used to burn them like all the time constantly but since it's not really the most healthy thing for you to constantly be up under burning candles now i just burn them occasionally so you know they last a bit longer but these candles smell amazing so i did pick up this set um, which is really nice and I also picked up the original set that she came out with sorry I can't think of the name of the different sets I'll put them on the screen though so this one is the original set of candles very nice as you can see I haven't burned any of these yet but yeah I went ahead and got the set because I want oh they smell good just opening this box they smell so freaking good but yeah, the names are so cute. She has on here Cuffing Season, Matcha Business, Left on Red, Caked Up. <laughs> so cute. So, yeah, she came out with uh, two new sets of candles, I think, for the holiday. And my wallet just screamed, okay, when I saw the price for those candles. It's like, you know, two candles for like 75 bucks. <sighs> I don't know if I want to treat myself that much right now. But anyways, I do want them. <laughs> so that is it, you guys. That is my haul so far of the things that I've received from Black Friday and a little bit before Black Friday. I'm still waiting on some more stuff. So it's mostly indie brand stuff. You know, indie brand stuff takes a while to come in. So, you know, not a problem. I'll have more indie stuff for you guys hopefully before the end of the year. So that's it, you guys. All of my haul thus far. Um, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, like I always say, leave them down below. I do want to have a giveaway. I haven't decided what it is that I want to do for my giveaway, though, you guys, because I want it to be nice. But I'm still working on that. So in one of my videos coming up soon, look for a giveaway because i need to get it in gear december is going to be over before you know it so that's it you guys thanks so much for hanging out checking out my haul and i will see you on the next one Toodles.